This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Toyota. With Hack 5, I'm Shannon Morris coming to you from CES 2014 at Showstoppers. And I found Richard at MePC. Richard, how are you doing today? Thank you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Now, I saw this and I thought it was pretty cool. It's probably one of the coolest things here, <laughs> to be honest. The BPC is for an, it's an Android powered family PC, is that correct? That's correct. It's more than an Android. Uh, what we have done is we have def uh, redefined family computing. Uh, what we have here is an Android powered family device. It's a mini PC. It can run all kinds of Android apps available in the App Store. Uh, it, con uh, it comes with HDMI connector, so you hook up to your big screen TV, become a media center, uh, streaming content, video. Um, but what's really exciting today is we're announcing the gaming capability. So leverage, leveraging the off-the-shelf off uh, game controller, you can play many Android games. What kind of games can I play? Um, a lot of games are kids-friendly games, like Cordy 2, uh, Kano Kanu. Um, what's really fun is um, a lot of games are really designed for Android tablets. And how do you provide that experience onto a bigger screen TV? but while providing a safeguard environment uh, through our parental control. Oh, that is really cool. Now, I also noticed that this is for a family. So do you have ways of you know, protecting your children if they want to browse on the internet and things like that? Yes, uh, so MePC, the heart of MePC comes with parental control. It's a cloud-based technology that we have developed over the years. Uh, what it does is it provides a set of guidelines to help family uh, to create some kind of you know, guidance, right? How do you want your kids to access internet, playing games? Uh, one of the core issues we're attacking is the addictiveness of surfing the web, playing games. So through the mobile app, the parents can start to have a conversation with their kids. Uh, what kind of games that you would like to run, uh, what website you would like to surf, and provide this a uh, very healthy dialogue. That's such a great idea. I love this idea. It's really cool. It's nice and safe for the children, and the parents can still have fun with it, too. Now, I also noticed that there's a bunch of different inputs going on here. So can I use my tablet, but can I move to like a, a keyboard and a mouse if I wanted to? Yeah, so uh, let me show you here. Uh, this is an Android device. Uh, it has three USB connectivity, so you can hook up to your keyboard if you have a USB keyboard. Uh, HDMI connector, so perfect for a big screen TV, or you have a HDMI monitor. Building Wi-Fi, Ethernet, uh, building Bluetooth, speaker out. We have uh, uh, external SD slot, so it provides a lot of connectivity to do a lot of different things for you. Oh, that's so fun. I love this idea. It's so cool. Now, I know you started on, was it Kickstarter? Yeah, we got funded on Kickstarter the very first day, um, so we exceeded 3x. Uh, initially, the project was, um, we all have kids, uh, and we talk about the internet addiction, how do we overcome that? So it turned into something we think is cool, but we're not sure if that's the problem many people are facing today. So Kickstarter is our launch pad to validate the concept, and we got overwhelming response from them. Well, congratulations on the Kickstarter. So if I want to go online, where can I find this? How much does it cost? You can go to mepc.com. Uh, there's a lot of information there. Uh, we have a lot of different support uh, information. Uh, from we, right now, we are selling on amazon.com. We just finished fulfilling all the Kickstarter backers. So it was a big milestone for us. Um, but you can find us on amazon.com. And if you want to find out uh, all the available information, MePC has some great resources. And what's the price? 129 uh, for basic model uh, that has one gig internal uh, DDR memory plus four gig, and 149 for double the amount of memory. Oh, I did notice um, there's an SD card slot on the front. So does that mean I can do expandable memory? Yes, you can either use a USB thumbnail drive, plug into the back of Mi PC, get more memory, or SD card. That's awesome. I love this idea. This is really cool, and I can't wait to check it out myself. So if you guys want to check it out, you can definitely find everything. Thank you, Richard. That was excellent to talk to you. And please go over to revision3.com slash CES 2014 for all the coverage of all the things. Thanks once again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.